Hey Bhaskar this side and welcome to this session. So in today's session we are going to talk about the working principles of UV detector and PDA detectors. As we know that the UV detectors are widely used as a detection tool for the pharmaceuticals and chemical analysis. So in this session we are going to talk about how these two different detectors works. So let us first begin with the discussion on to the UV detector working principles and you can see in a diagram that there is a lamp slit, diffraction grating, there is one more slit, then there is a flow cell and followed by the light sensor. So this is overall uh, construction or the components of the UV detector. So the first component is the lamp. So there are two lamps generally used in HPLC. The one is a deuterium lamp which is the source of UV light range and the another one is tungsten lamp which is the light source for the visible range. Followed by there is a slit available. Now what is the function of the slit over here? Uh, because the slit is acting as an a opening control of the light onto the grating. So the slit will define how much light will enter into the system and the width of the slit affects the resolution of our HPLC detector. The narrower the slit, the higher will be the resolution. However, the narrower slits also decreases the signal strength and hence these two factors must be balanced when selecting a size of the slit. So after the slit, when the light crosses the slit, it will fall onto the diffraction grating. So let us first understand what is meaning of the diffraction grating. So the diffraction grating is an optical component uh, which is specifically designed to reflect the light at different wavelength uh, and at different angles. So what happens that when the light leaves the grating, uh, it spreads over this space like a rainbow. Can you see a, a rainbow light falling onto the another slit? So this wavelength separation allows the selection of light with a suitable wavelength by using another slit. Suppose as a part of your analysis, you want to uh, determine the response at the 254 nanometer. So that particular light uh, generated you know by the diffraction grating will only pass through the second slit and then it will enter into the flow cell. See the flow cell is the compartment through which either mobile phase or the sample gets transferred. So when the samples enters into the flow cell it can absorb the uh, light which is uh, falling onto it. So whatever light absorbed right, will be measured by the light sensor or the detector. So we know that in HPLC the light absorbed is reflected as the signal. So you can see on to the uh, chromatogram over here that there are three different peaks observed. Uh, and on the x-axis there is a retention time and on to the y-axis it is the absorbance. Let us now understand how the PDA detector works. So if you look at the construction of the PDA detector, it is a lamp followed by a slit, then immediately flow cell followed by diffraction grating and then there is a photodiode arrays on top of it. So the lamp uh, eliminates the uh, light range as per the decided uh, by the analyst. For example, if you want to have a light radiations ranging from 200 nanometer to 400 nanometer. So these radiations will pass through the slit. Then these radiations will cross the flow cell containing the sample solution. And whatever now the light is emitting from the flow cell will fall onto the diffraction grating. So here we know what is the function of the diffraction grating, right? So it is going to separate the light at different wavelength and at the different angles. 
So what happens when light leaves grating, it spreads over like a rainbow and you can see into the right side of the screen. So now the, as a part of the PDA detector, you will have a option of not only measuring the absorbance for the specific wavelength, but as a part of the output of this uh, rainbow from the diffraction grating, you will have the intensities across the multiple wavelength. For example, if you want to scan the spectra uh, and then you will identify now what is the absorbance at different wavelength, for example, from 200 nanometer to 400 nanometer. So you can have the absorbance measured at the very specific different different uh, wavelengths. 240 nanometer, this is the absorbance. 250 nanometer, now this is the absorbance. So along with the absorbance, the meaning of using PDA is to also understand the UV spectra. So you can see the UV spectra in addition to the absorbance. Now this PDA detector is also a very useful tool in proving whether the peak is spectrally pure or whether the peak is spectrally not pure. This tool is used specifically, specifically during the method validation to prove that the method used is the stability indicating in nature. So thank you very much for watching this video and I hope that you must have got a overview of how the UV detector and PDA detector really works. Thank you and bye-bye.